Here's a fun product transition effect that you can do right now. First thing you need to do is find a product that you want to use, like what I did here with the Kellogg cereal. Since it was a Frosted Flakes product, I got the actual Frosted Flakes cereal and used that to fall into my hand as the second shot. You can use any other products that you want, maybe like a bag of chips, a pack of Oreos, totally up to you, be creative with what you use. The steps for all this will all be similar. So I did this on a football field. You can do this wherever you like, it'll work out the same way. So first thing you need to do is shoot the first half of your shot. So for this one, I was throwing the protein tub up and down with one hand, and I shot it with a smartphone in my other hand. Then after about a few seconds, I pretended that it turned into a cereal as I let the tub just double onto the grass. So the next part is kind of key to make it all work. You gotta make sure that you have a second person there to help you with your second shot. So what you're gonna do is have them move the tub that just fell into the grass out of the shot so it's not shown in the frame. And and then have yourself or the subject whoever it is that's in the video to make sure that their hand doesn't move and is in the similar spot so that it'll look more realistic in the end so now for the second half of the shot you're gonna need your helper to drop the cereal into your hand you gotta make sure that when they're dropping it onto your hand that you're moving your hand down to kind of copy the movement of the first half of the shot so count down and time it so that the movement and timing is right ready three two one go all right, so now that we have all the shots that we need, we're gonna take this into post and start editing it. I'm gonna be using Final Cut Pro 10 to edit this effect, but you can follow the same steps for any editing platform. So I'm gonna first place the clip where I was throwing the tub up and down on the project timeline. I'll cut it off right about at the spot before it touches my hand. Next, I'm gonna place the clip of when the cereal dropped onto my hand. So as you can see here, it's not in the exact same spot, but it's good enough. The closer you get it, the more realistic it'll look. I'm also going to add some motion blur right on the top here and you can get this one online for free. I'll make sure to link it in the description down below. Basically with motion blur, it'll help it blend in better. I also highly suggest adding in sound effects. I added in the sounds of people talking on the football field and a little impact whoosh sound when the cereal hit my hand. Sound is definitely half the game guys. So make sure to add it in so that your edits come to life. If you enjoyed this quick video effect, make sure to subscribe and watch this other tutorial here of another super simple effect if you want to elevate your game.